Welcome back to another edition of Retro Tech. We bring you the best of the classics in the world of vintage multimeters and electronics. Hey, we got something special. We have a couple of special things. Not only do we have a classic fluke in the spotlight, but we also have my father-in-law all the way from the Ukraine, who's Mish. walking away from me. Mish. Hello. Hi. Say hi, hi to everybody out there. Uh, talk uh, Ukraine, talk Russia, talk English. Uh, well, English is preferred, but hey, you know. <laughs> no, no, very special English. <clears throat> so my father-in-law, Misha, he's uh, kind of a handyman do-it-yourself. He fixes doors, windows. He does some electronics. He, he does just about everything, right? Uh, everything fix it. Everything fix yeah, it. Everything. Everything uh, except what? Kitchen sink? Or you fix kitchen yeah, sink too? Yeah, open. So this guy's Mr. Fix-It. Gotta love it. Today in the spotlight here, we're looking at flukes. Now, flukes have been around for a while. Are you familiar with the fluke name? Uh, is it fluke multimeter? Multimeter? Multimeter. Da. No, yeah, no problem. But no. fluke is a good name. At least in North America, fluke is very popular. It's been around for generations, and it's considered the de facto standard in multimeter testing. Uh, test what? <laughs> test what? No worries. So I got my lovely wife Olga here, and she's going to translate just a little bit to help Misha. Misha, what is a popular multimeter brand in the Ukraine? It's, it's number one. Number one. There you go. And a big thank you, a big shout out to Michael Yamarino, who is a fantastic guy. Always great, uh, knowledgeable, and uh, super generous. Hey, he gave me a brand new Fluke 27. Gotta love him. There's a few different versions of the Fluke 27 around. Uh, this is the Fluke 27 FM. Now, it doesn't say FM on the front, but on the back, it is the Fluke 27 FM. And basically, the FM signifies the fact that this is a true RMS, a Fluke. So the Fluke 27 with only that designation is RMS only. 27 FM is also true RMS. There's also a military version of this. It's a black unit, uh, even more tough and rugged if that's possible. Um, so a Fluke 27, Fluke 27, not the greatest in terms of specs by today's standards, uh, 3200 count, 31 segment analog bar graft, does resistance, does diode, does continuity. Um, it does boast EMI shielding. Oh yes, you know we love our shielding. And it does have O-sing, O-ring seals uh, because this was always considered a real workhorse, a meter that was gonna be used and abused out in the field. One of the cool features though it does have is a nano Siemens mode. So it could really measure those super high resistance values. So even though it's an old meter, if you're in the market for a multimeter that offers conductance as a functionality, this 27 has you covered from 20 mega ohms to 100,000 mega ohms. Awesome. The original Fluke 27 came out way back in 1986, almost 40 years ago. This version is a newer upgraded one and it's only 20 years old only gorgeous looking body the chassis is just amazing this thing is thick it's bold and it just reeks of quality oh my god compared to some meters these days that just reek and you know i love my selectors and by the way this was a special custom jobby by michael he actually painted that selector pointer what a great job mike but i mean look at this you just hit those switches with authority and it has a very nice solid tactile feel oh i love that selector also very unusual is the kickstand this thing is huge look at the size of it Wow, what a beast. Uh, definitely wasn't gonna be going anywhere. Um, Fluke 27 FM, warranty, limited lifetime. Well, that was lifetime of the original user, I'm assuming. Um, made in USA, oh yeah. Big, bold display, nice, thick, chunky digits. No backlight on this meter, but uh, they gave you a really, really good looking display. Have a little bit of glare, but overall it's actually very easy to read. And right now we have it hooked up to that precision standard. Look at that, 10.00. What we want, 9.99. This is without calibration. Awesome. Another sweet feature, um, so unique to Fluke at the time, was that uh, hold. And we'll see what, exactly what I'm talking about. So. 
I have a standard 18 650 here, and I'm just going to take a measurement right now. Comes in at four volts. So if I press the hold button, now it's going to put us in a hold mode. Let's take that voltage again. And bada boom, bada bing, 4.1 volts. It holds the reading uh, till you're done. I mean, that is just uber handy. Oh, nice. And check out that milliamp. 100.2 milliamps, according to that precision current reference. Oh, it is spot on. Diode mode, the performance, it's okay. Um, can handle those standard diodes without any issues, but trying to light up a white LED, uh, yeah, no can do. Works with the green and the red though. There's that forward voltage drop, so all in all, hey, that's okay, it's 40 years old. So of course, where this meter really shines is on the inside. This thing is built like a freaking tank. Oh, wow, look at that. Beautiful O-ring seal. Uh, encompasses the entire multimeter because of course this was med meant for the great outdoors rough and tough in it fluke style uh, when you're doing your testing solid solid plastic resin here this thing is just like solid and uh, look at the size again of that tilt stand massive so you know the attention to detail in the inside is phenomenal now I go on and on about shielding and this is the shielding the protective cover the Faraday cage that actually covers this Fluke 27 um, it is just a work of art and by the way this Faraday cage it encompasses the entire body of the meter so not just the top is protected but also the bottom of the meter is shielded as well so complete protection for your Fluke 27 and of course yeah there is that beautiful PCB. First thing that hits you is that massive style wafer selector switch. Uh, you just don't see them make like this anymore. Look at that, that is a work of art. That could be hanging in the Louvre. I swear to God, what a beautiful piece of tech that is. Um, that'll last forever. A couple of big, massive Bussman fuses there, HRC. They're both rated at 1000 volts. And one is an 11 amp, the other is a 100 amp. So a fluke is not messing around. So we have a date stamp, 1997 Fluke Corporation. But this revision is actually a little newer. This is 2003, 2003. Um, we have a 2003 here on the other side. Double, double, 008 was the uh, name of the uh, engineering stamp, the one that actually did the Q&A on this. Um, so we're talking about 20 years old. Now the original Flukes came out way back in 1986. So if you can pick up an original, that's a 40 year old multimeter you're looking at. And check out those uh, mobs, one, two, three, four, all in series. Actually, it looks like we have a fifth over here as well. So a nice series of mobs for infra protection. And while well, speaking of gorgeous, check that out. Um, Multi-term PTFE trimmer capacitors. Wow, something out of an Arthur C. Clarke novel, isn't it? I mean, they're just so uber sci-fi looking, love it. Um, those are high voltage capacitors. Uh, they have a Teflon dielectric. And what makes them so cool is that they prevent ionization because of those dielectrics. I believe NASA uses this technology um, in its aerospace uh, project. So this is some definite cool tech even today. And moving across the board, we have more of those awesome calibration trim pots. Uh, cleverly designed because they're accessible without having to do a complete teardown. You can easily access those uh, calibration pots without ripping apart the meter. So kudos to Fluke for thinking. And oh yeah, that is one massive ceramic voltage divider. Oh, a thing of beauty. And look at those isolation slots here, once again, for that input protection. Um, Excellent. And at the top of the meter, we count them one, two, three, four diodes. So that tells us that this is for a bridge rectification. Now there is two parts to this PCB assembly and they are connected by this uh, riser board here. It's an 18 pin header. And that is what connects to the underside of the other part that has that display chip. 
And of course, on the other side, there we are. Look at that beautiful, beautiful Fluke flat package chip. That's a classic. It's a classic. The Fluke 700-112. Oh, man. One of the neat things, too, is you can still buy this integrated circuit online. I've seen these on eBay, um, some other independent e-tailers. You can buy these chips still today. The housing mechanism for the fuses is definitely a little unusual. So once again, they have a separate uh, riser board here. Those two fuses are connected to. And they're in there with just a uh, sort of like a solder placement, a doohickey going on here. Um, but it is soldered extremely, extremely well. Not sure why they chose to go with this from an engineering perspective, but uh, oh well, is what it is. As well, we got some uh, interesting big shielded wire here for the a nine volt battery connector and man did they ever shield this sucker holy camoly here is the other side this is the selector switch knob with those four plastic arms just moves like so Built like a and if you take a good look we get in there close you can see there's a really good amount of a dielectric grease on there so they've greased up that uh, plastic selector uh, uh rotary knob arms um uh, really well so it's greased loving it once again <laughs> look at those inputs oh my god those things are massive oh man i just love this old stuff there's our display chip, the Texas Instruments MF430F. Really nice chip. Um, beautiful. And as you can see at the bottom here, Fluke 27 uh, Revision 5, and that is also stamped here. Dated 2003. Uh, once again, these first came out in 1986. Uh, this model, definitely a newer uh, version, dated 2003 with the newer style chip. Um, a, a real steal of a deal. If you can find one of these on the market, oh man, grab it, grab it. Hey, thanks for joining us on this edition of Retro Tech. And I want to say a big thank you to Misha. Misha, thanks so much for spending a little bit of time with us today. Hey, do you have any words of wisdom? Hi. Hi, hey, why not? That's as good as it gets. As long as Slava Ukraini. <laughs> yeah, I sincerely hope you enjoyed this little walk down vintage memory lane. Until the next one, keep on testing. Keep on testing. <laughs> testing. Keep on testing. Keep on testing. No, the test. Keep on testing. Keep on testing. Testing. Good enough. <laughs>